Hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome to all of you, Sister Thelma Kamara, Sister Jane Mumba. Woman arise and be healed. Be nice. Asak Margaret, Chefa Josephine, Mani, Flora Kebani. I want to welcome all of you to today's edition of the Hour of Worship. My day of infilling. My day of infilling in the Holy Ghost. As, as you all already know, um, today is also um, our communion worship. You know, <coughs> excuse me. I hope you all have your communion ready as well. Uh, in the course of this worship, we will cap off today's worship with that communion. Today is my day of infilling in the Holy Ghost. You know, Sister Lindy, God bless you. If you've never been filled in the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues, today is your day. If you've been filled Today is your day of refill. Today is the day that the Holy Ghost will recharge you and refill you. And if you've never been filled before, today is your day to be filled. If you will only open your heart. Open your heart and say to the Holy Ghost, I am ready for your infilling. I am ready to be filled. Our text today is from the book of Jewel, chapter 2, and the book of Acts, chapter 2 as well. In Jewel, chapter 2, I read from verse 23 through verse 29, and it says, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain, in the first month. Today is the last day of the first month. Jesus. Hallelujah. He say he will give you the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. We are not missing it because today is the last Sunday of the first month. Let's say, and the floors shall be filled, or they shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten. The canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of you, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. You know, people think that the Pente Pentecostal, you know, type of Christianity is the type that makes you poor, or is the type that makes you wretched. Look at all the things that God promised in addition to the Holy Ghost. I want to read again. A man in King. Thanks for being here. I want to read again. He said, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he had given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, 
and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palm of worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. And God says, And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of you, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. My people shall never be ashamed. And my people shall never be ashamed. <coughs> Verse 28, which is why we're here today. And it says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids, handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. This promise Paul says to the people who we are questioning the Holy Ghost. You say this promise is for you. And to those who are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. In Acts chapter 2, from verse 1 to 4, the Bible says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Unity of the Spirit. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, from heaven, from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. It did not fill the city. It did not fill the neighborhood. It filled the house where the people of God were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues. Brother Bruce Wayne, thanks for being here. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them. No one was left out. It sat upon each of them, and they were all, Pauline in Jorge, thanks for me, said they were all, they were all, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And how do we know that they were all filled with the Holy Ghost? The tongues, cloven tongues of fire, was sitting upon each and every one of them and they began to speak with all the tongues as the spirit gave them utterance as the spirit gave them utterance precious they are thanks they are thanks for being here as the spirit gave them utterance it wasn't something they memorized it wasn't something they learned. It wasn't something they picked up. It was something they were compelled, propelled by the power that sat upon them. The power of the Holy Ghost. The Bible said they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. As the Spirit gave them utterance. Fulfilling the prophecy in Joel that says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Are you a man or woman? That promise is for you. The Bible says that the power of God filled the house 
where they were sitting, the 120 people of God, where they were sitting, the power of God filled the house. Where are you sitting right now? Wherever you are sitting right now is your upper room. Wherever you are sitting right now is a target for the wind of the Holy Ghost from heaven. And you are a candidate for the cloven tongue of fire. You are a candidate for the cloven tongue of fire. My day of infilling in the Holy Ghost. My day of infilling in the Holy Ghost. You know, the Holy Ghost is a mystery. It's a mystery. God will tell her, thanks for being here. It's a mystery. When you're a child of God and you have not been filled in the Holy Ghost, the Bible says you are empty. You are like a clanging cymbal. You are powerless in the face of principalities and powers. In the face of sin, you are powerless. And when it comes to evangelism, you are ineffective. Because Jesus says, these signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. He say, in my name. But what precedes that is the infilling of the Holy Ghost. That was why Jesus said, I am leaving. I am going to the Father. When I go, I will send you a comforter. Give me some 10 days. I will send you the comforter. But remain in Jerusalem until you be endued with power. That's why they went into the upper room waiting for that promise. And the Bible says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, the people were in one accord, in one place, the place of worship. That was where they were, in the place of worship, exactly where you are right now. And it says, suddenly there came a sound from heaven. It was a sound like never heard. But they could only describe what happened with natural things. That was why they say it sounded like a rushing mighty wind. Because it's something they've never experienced before. It says, as of a rushing mighty wind. He said, fill the house where they were sitting. Where you are right now, the house of worship. And said, there appeared unto them cloven, cloven tongues like as of fire. Fire is a symbol of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is a consuming fire. He said, the, the power sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them all to us. Let the power of God come down. Let the power of God come down today and fill every one of us that is desirous of the power of the Holy Ghost so that you will be effective when you go out there and tell them that Jesus saves. You can lay your hand on the sick and they shall recover. That's the promise of the Holy Ghost. That you shall say to that demon, be ye cast out and it will obey. That's the promise of the Holy Ghost. That you will say Jesus saves and thousands will give their lives to Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. That you will say to this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and it shall be so. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Peter and the rest of the apostles, they were effective after the infilling of the Holy Ghost. 
Philip went to Samaria. They began to preach and teach and miracles happened because they were filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. I need the power of the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Ghost, it's tough to heal the sick. It's tough to raise the dead. It's tough to trample upon serpents and scorpions. It's tough to even speak into your situation. It's tough to address the enemy in your household. It's tough to confront the powers that want to destroy you. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. Will you, are you willing to receive him today? Are you willing to receive him today? If you are willing, he is there right by your side. He is there right by your side. He wants to feel you. He wants his power to sit on you. He wants you to be filled with the evidence of speaking in tongues. All you need is to reach out to him. Reach out to him. This promise is for you, for your family, for every one of us and those that are even afar of, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Are you willing and ready to open your heart to receive the Holy Ghost? You want to be that Holy Ghost filled Christian? Have a friends, thanks for being here. God bless you. Thanks for coming back to us. Oh, we thank God for Johnny Mercy. You want to be that Holy Ghost filled? child of God. The, the Holy Ghost filled child of God is fearless. You don't fear anything. You don't fear what man can do to you. You don't fear the powers of darkness because you sit above them. You sit above principalities and powers. You command they obey because you are Holy Ghost filled. And when you are Holy Ghost filled, they see the mark of the Holy Ghost upon you. Wherever you go. That was why when, <laughs> when Paul and Barnabas were preaching in Lystra, they didn't even know that there was a lady filled with the demons that was present. But the lady recognized the power in them and manifested. The man religion told Jesus what have I to do with you the power of darkness has nothing to do with you when you are filled with the Holy Ghost Johanna Johannes thanks for being here God bless you so relax in the spirit open your heart and tell God I want your power I want the power of the Holy Ghost I want to speak in tongues. Fill me and give me utterance. Holy Ghost. Let that be your prayer right now. You're all I want. You're all I ever
I can feel your presence. Yes, I can feel, I can feel your presence right now. Yes, I can feel, I can feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, your power is all over me. I can feel, I can feel, I can feel your presence, Lord. Yes, I can feel, I can feel you right now. Yes, I can feel, I can feel, I can feel your power. It's all over me. It's all over me. It's all over me. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Take all the praise. Take all the honor. Yes, Lord. I can feel, I can feel, I can feel your anointing. I give you all the praise. Just to be. him somebody worship 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 him somebody give him praise hallelujah 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 we want to transition into the communion service right now have your communion ready have your communion ready now read from the scriptures from the book of first Corinthians chapter 11 first Corinthians chapter 11 <coughs> first Corinthians chapter 11 I read from verse 23 And it says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. He broke it. And he said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. If you broke your bread, you can take the body right now.
Verse 25. After the same manner also, he took the cup. Amotazo Izo. Thanks for being here. He took the cup. When he has supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till ye come. David Kidigan Data from Kenya, God bless you. If you have your cup, go ahead and take the blood. I want you to go to God in prayer right now. Let the blood of Jesus work through your body, soul, and spirit. Let the blood of Jesus make contact with your body, soul, and spirit. You will never remain the same again each time. The blood of Jesus makes contact with your blood. And the flesh of Jesus makes contact with your flesh. You can never be the same. Go to God in prayer. <coughs> Tell him what you want him to do. Tell him what you need him to do in your life. Tell him what you need him to do in your life. In the name of Jesus, tell him what you need him to do. Present your case to him. Present your case to him because he is here. He is here. He is here. He is here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. 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 Thank you for your body. Thank you for... The blood that washes whiter than snow. Jesus touch my life. Jesus touch my life. Jesus touch my life. Let your flesh make contact with my flesh, my body, my soul, my spirit. Let your blood make contact with my blood, my body, my soul, my spirit. Let it fix everything that is not of you. Let it flush out everything that is not of you. Let it mend everything that is broken. Let it restore everything that was damaged. In the name of Jesus, my health, Lord, let your blood and flesh make contact with my health, that I be made whole. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of I also stand in the gap for my family. Let your blood and flesh make contact with every member of my family. And may they be made whole. In the name of Jesus, may they be made whole. In the name of Jesus, may they be made whole. In the name of Jesus, let your blood avail. Let your flesh avail in our health. In the name of Jesus, in our emotions, in the name of Jesus, in our psychology, in the name of Jesus, let it address everything that is not of you. Let it address everything that was not planted by you. Every tree in our lives, every tree in our health that was not planted by the Father, let it be rooted up right now and let it be set ablaze in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ is the Lord. You are the Lord Jesus Christ. Every knee must bow. Let every knee that is not of you in our lives, in our families, in our affairs, let them begin to bow right now. In the name of Jesus, let them bow. Let them bow to the authority that is in the name of Jesus. Let them bow to the power of the blood. Let them bow to the power of the flesh of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let them bow to the potency of the word of God. In the name of let sickness be gone. Let sickness flee. Let it flee. Let it flee out of our lives. In the name of Jesus, let misery flee out of our lives. Let wretchedness flee out of our lives. In the name of Jesus, let that wonderful name whose blood and flesh we have received, let it avail on our behalf. Let it avail on the behalf of our family members. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it address every issue in our lives that brings us worry, that brings us sorrow, that brings us trouble, that brings us nightmare. Let the blood of Jesus address it right now. In the name of Jesus. the blood of Jesus thank you Holy Ghost thank you for the blood of your son that was shed on our behalf thank you for that blood Jesus thank you for that blood thank you for that blood thank you for that flesh that was pierced on our behalf thank you for that body that was bruised and wounded for us pierced Lord Thank you for the head that wore a crown of thorns on our behalf. Thank you for your side that was pierced for us. Thank you for your feet that was nailed for us. Thank you for your hands that were nailed for us. Hallelujah. Thank you for making us whole. Thank you for making us whole. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are free in the name of Jesus. We are healed in the name of Jesus. We are made whole in the name of Jesus. We are delivered in the name of Jesus. We are restored in the name of Jesus. We are blessed in the name of Jesus. We are prosperous in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Let the power that is in the blood, the power that is in the name, let the power and the power that's in the blood avail on our behalf today. In the name of Jesus, there is healing in the name. The name Jesus, there is power in the name. The name Jesus, there is healing and liberty in the name. The name Jesus, there is victory in the name. The name Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, that is power in the name of Jesus, that is power in the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. 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 Go, go. I'll come back. I'll come let you go. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power in the blood, the power in the name, the power in the blood, the power in the name, the power in the blood, the power in the name, the power in the blood, the power in the name. Hallelujah. 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 Let the power avail. Hallelujah. Let it avail in the name of Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Joy, I tell all. Thanks for being here. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We bless you. We glorify your name, Jesus. wonderful day. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that washes whiter than snow. The blood of Jesus. The blood that makes us whole. Glory to Jesus in the highest. How many of you felt the power of God during the Pentecost worship? How many of you felt the presence of God? How many of you felt the power of the Holy Ghost to rest upon you, the power that you could not resist? You did, Sister Ava. Glory to Jesus. It's an irresistible power. It comes upon you, you know. This is not natural. This is not ordinary. Glory be to God. has promised to fill us with the power of the Holy Ghost. That's why he said, Tarry in Jerusalem until thou be endued with the power, and then ye shall be my witnesses. Yes, Sister Pauline, hallelujah. You felt the power of God. Hallelujah. He said, and you shall be my witnesses. You not only witness to his salvation, you witness to his power. You witness to his ability. You witness to his willingness to do the impossible. To heal the sick. To heal the brokenhearted. To restore relationships and marriages. To restore businesses, to grant promotions, to give good success, to give prosperity of the mind and of the soul, to give healing of the body and of the mind and of the soul. These are the things you witness when you receive the power of God. These are the things the power of the Holy Ghost can do through you. That's why it's important to be filled in the Holy Ghost. 
if you were filled in the Holy Ghost today, or if you were refilled in the Holy Ghost today, the Lord be praised. I am happy for you. I am happy for you. I am happy for you. You are a changed person. You have become a different person. You've become a danger to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. In the spirit realm, you are wished away by chariots of fire. When you are surrounded by the power of evil, when the power of darkness surrounds you to do you harm, you are whisked away by a chariot of fire. They can't touch you. They cannot touch you. They, because you are a filled person. You are a carrier of the Holy Ghost. Greetings, Sister Thelma Yeshua from South Korea. God bless you. God bless you. If you were filled today, or if you were refilled today with the power of the Holy Ghost, if you spoke in tongue today, after a long time, or for the first time, I, I rejoice with you. I rejoice with you. you. You have been energized. A child of God that is not filled in the Holy Ghost is like an electric transformer that is not functional that is not connected to the grid you sit there you are a heavy presence you sit there but you are not connected to the grid when you become filled in the holy ghost that's when you are connected to the grid that's when people flip the switch there is light when people flip the switch there is light. When people touch your high tension, they get electrocuted because they are not supposed to touch you. That is when you become the apple of God's eye because there is a current of the Holy Ghost running in you. When they touch you, they get electrocuted. A filled child of God is like a stove that is lighted. When you are not filled, you are like a stove that is not lighted. You sit there. You cannot cook anything. But when you are lighted, you can cook. Hallelujah. And no fly can perch on you while you are glowing hot. No fly can perch on you. But when you are not lighted, flies can sit on you. Spiritual flies can sit on you. Thank you, Jesus, for Sister Lindy. You were speaking in tongues uncontrollably. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. I felt him come upon me. I felt his presence all around me. And I knew that the same was happening wherever you were. No demon can perch on you when the tongues of fire is sitting on you. Because the Holy Ghost does not share a real estate with demons. The Holy Ghost cannot share a real estate with the power of darkness. When the cloven tongue of fire is sitting on you, nothing else sits on you. Nothing else tampers with you. Sister Abba, friends, you were crying non-stop. That was the power of the Holy Ghost upon you. Hallelujah. When you are filled, you feel different. You become a weapon. When the Bible says that we are battle axes in the hand of God, that is a filled child of God. And a filled child of God is that battle axe that is laying on the floor nobody has picked you up you are not useful but when you are filled you become the battle ass in the hand of god with you the power of the holy ghost can cut in asunder 
the gates of brass and bars of iron glory to Jesus 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 that is when you have an encounter with demons they recognize you I once had an encounter with a demon that told me because the week prior we conducted the deliverance and that demon called himself mountain the demon said i cannot be moved you better go and fast and pray for days before you come talk to me that was the demon speaking but you know what we told the demon that we have a consuming fire that jesus says if i have a faith as small as a mustard seed that i can say to this mountain be thou removed and be cast into the sea and i said to the demon right now i have a faith bigger than a mustard seed and i command you to get out of this life the demon left the Bible says that when the demon is cast out of a man that the demon begins to roam and when the demon doesn't find a place it comes back to the original person if the house is clean and swept and not filled with the Word of God and not filled with the power of the Holy Ghost it's like an unlighted stove it's like a transformer that's not connected to the grid the bible says the demon says oh yeah that apartment is still available is still listed in the marketplace the demon will go back and take seven other stronger spirits and come and occupy that life and jesus said the life of that person will be worse than it was i don't know what happened to this man he was brought again because he was running on the streets with dementia he left his father's house and bolted away not knowing where he was going because he was not in his right man the pe people were saying that he is mad and this was the only son of the family and people were calling him mad they brought him again while we wanted to pray the demon said shut up i sent my servant the mountain and you cleared him not with me my name is rage my name is rage rather than live this life I will tear this life to pieces and take this man with me. And we said over our dead body, will you take this man with you? The rage of God is rising against you. Your rage is like water. The rage of God is like fire. On Mount Camel, fire consumed the water and licked it up. Nothing was left in the trench that was dug. Therefore, we command you, when you leave, you shall not return to this life. And the rage left. Today, that young man is a preacher. That young man is a worshiper. That young man is an author. That young man is married serving God when you are filled with the power of the Holy Ghost no life around you can be destroyed by demons no life around you can be tampered with by demons because you are a blazing furnace no fly can fly in and remain alive that's why you need the power of the Holy Ghost if you were filled today if you were revealed today you are that blazing furnace you are that transformer that is connected to the grid 
you are like that stove that is lighted you are ready to cook you are ready to cook hallelujah rejoice rejoice for what you have received rejoice for the power that resides in you rejoice for the mantle that fell and you took hold of it you're ready to strike your river and separate it that's what the power of the holy ghost does hallelujah Hallelujah. If you are filled today, rejoice. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. I feel ecstatic and excited. I want to just jump and scream. Hallelujah. If you partook of that communion today and you were filled in the Holy Ghost, that's the definition of a double portion. That's a perfect definition of a double portion of the power of God, of the anointing of God, of the healing of God of the breakthrough that comes from him. Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> Thank you to all of you, you know, that tuned in today. I know I, I mention your names as I see them pop up. Sister Shelley. Sister Shelley J, thanks. I know you're watching. God bless you, Sister Shelley. God bless you. And every one of you also that, you know, I don't know if I skipped anybody. I don't know if I skipped anybody in the course of this. If I skipped you, please forgive me. Kimo Kimo, I think I skipped you. God bless you, Kimo Kimo. Thank you for being here. Hallelujah. I think I mentioned most of the names. Betty Okorobira, I think I skipped you also. Thank you, Sister Betty, for being here. God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Shalom. God bless you, sir. Ndafa Pawa Maria. Ndafa Pawa Maria. God bless you for being here. Thank you very much. Ndafa Pawa Maria. I think I called you woman around me. God will tell I think I mentioned your name also. Uh, thank you all for being here. You know, it's, it's humbling. You know, I think I've mentioned the rest of you. Sister Thelma Kamara, Sister Flora Kebani, Chefa, Josephine Mani, Asek Margaret, be nice. Woman arise and be healed. Jane Mumba. Um, Sister Lindy, a man who can Pauline Jaroge, Bruce Wayne, uh, Precious Ideyaru, God will Teta, you know, Sister Ava France, Sister Johanna Johannes, um, Sister Thelma Yeshua, Sister Amota Zuiz or Brother David Kidigan Deda, Joy Atelo Obi you know, Betty Yokurubira. Um, God bless you all. God bless you all. Sister Shelley B. 
God bless you all. I don't know if Bro Vincent Johnson tuned in today. God bless you, Bro Johnson. If you did not tune in today, maybe when you go back to watch. God bless you, Johnson. You're watching with your family from Greece. God bless you. God bless you and God bless your family. In the name of Jesus, Kimo Kimo. God bless you too. You know, the boy is saying good morning. And that's my, my boy, Daniel. Daniel, good morning. And Nielsen, good morning. God bless you, boys. Hallelujah. I think, you know, we've practically come, we've practically come to, you know, to the end of the thing. Yeah, Sons of Solomon 2 verse 4. Hallelujah. of wisdom, prophecies, revelations, visions, you know, whatever that the Lord showed you, yeah, whatever the Lord showed you, you know, that's for the good of us, hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope you had a safe trip back. Because that's what we ask for. God, God bless you. God bless you. Thanks. When you dream about your own wedding and the bride has delayed. Bro, brain over brown. God bless you for being here. Bro, David, are you married or are you single? Bro, David Kidiga. Are you married or are you single? You dreamt of your own wedding and the bride is delayed. You know? There are, there are three sources of dreams. Okay. Three sources of dreams scripturally. We have dreams that come from God. We have dreams that come from the devil. And we have dreams that come from the multitude of business. You know, out of the overflow of your heart and your thought process. Um, Connected your mother on the other line. She's based in Africa. She took all the communion. She said to send her gratitude and thanks to God for using her body feels lighter and legs are better. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I rejoice with you, Sister Lindy, and I rejoice with your mother. Tell your mother 
I send my greetings that the hand of the Lord is upon her. Hallelujah. Now back to you, Brother David. All you need to pray is, if, are you ready to get married? That's the question. If the answer is yes, and there is a delay, you know, you pray. If what caused the delay is of God, then he will do it at his own time because he makes all things beautiful in his own time. If the delay is not of God, that's why you have received power today to decree against the delay. You know, when you are, that's why it's important to be filled in the Holy Ghost, to walk in the will of God. When you are walking in the perfect will of God, and your partner is walking in the perfect will of God, then and both of you carry the fire of the Holy Ghost, nothing comes between you. You know, nothing comes between you. So the question is, if you're if you're ready to get married, um, and your partner is ready to get married, go ahead and get married. You know, but do everything prayerfully. Make sure that that's your spouse. Make sure you are compatible. Make sure your faiths align. Make sure your dreams align. Make sure you speak with one voice. You know, those are the things you figure out during the dating process. You know if it will work or not. And then you pray. You know, if you have prayed, and uh, you have the peace, and you have the peace that that's your spouse. Go ahead. Every delay that is not of God is broken in the name of Jesus. If she is your spouse, Hallelujah. Sister Lindy, I'm grateful, you know, for your mom's greetings. So tell her I send my greetings. Um, that we are praying for her that the healing hand of God will touch her leg you know and God will mend every broken bone if there be any and the Lord will rejuvenate her and she will she will feel like she's a youth again those are the God heals you know God heals all manner. Jesus went to Peter's mother-in-law's house. She was down with fever. Jesus healed her of fever. So there is nothing God cannot do. He heals the littlest of sicknesses like fever. He heals the big ones like broken bones and cancer and all of those. So we have a God that heals. And his name is Jesus. Shirley, if you have any any revelation, feel free to share that with us. Hallelujah. Woman, arise and be healed. God bless you. And may God walk with you in your vision and bring your dreams to pass even beyond your imagination you know Anything, if the Lord revealed anything to you, let 
Let us know. God is above everything. What he says he will do, he does. and many people we are in the showers God is asking us to cleanse ourselves of anything besetting us holding us back in Jesus name God bless you sister Pauline in Joroge you saw a church and many people were in the showers if we were in the showers if many people were in the showers that means the cleansing process has already started hallelujah Hallelujah. God is asking us to cleanse. God takes us to the shower, but we take the sponge and scrub ourselves and turn the faucet on to wash us. So God has taken us to the shower and it's up to us to take the soap and scrub and scrub. Turn the faucet on. Let the cleansing water of God cleanse us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You know, this is time to, to, to bow down. This is time to bow down and examine ourselves and tell God to cleanse us. 
Welcome, Sister Linda. Thanks, Sister Linda. Open my eyes to see, to see Jesus. Seated upon the Thank you, thank you. Open, open my eyes so I can see, I can see Jesus. As it sits upon the moon.
yes, bow down and worship it. Worship it. I'm 
<laughs> Glory be to God. We can I can go on and on. I said um, I wasn't going to exceed two hours, but I have exceeded it. Please forgive me. Please, I crave your indulgence to forgive me. You know, this thing is sweet. So, Baron, okay. By the way, Sister Shelly wanted to share that she also saw in last week's hour of worship the Lord sitting in the middle of an antique looking boat. This was after her seeing the large white cups being filled up by him. He saw the Lord sitting in the boat. You know what? You know, last week, right? We talked about Jesus entering the boat of Simon and say, please move a little further from the land. And he taught them and then told him to launch out into the deep. And Peter said, we've struggled all night and we didn't catch anything, you know. Jesus said, uh, uh, Peter said, at your word, Lord. When he did, we saw what happened. That was last week. And we said that the boat was our lives. That Jesus has stepped into our lives and he has told us to move a little farther from the land to a place of worship. And now, Sister Shelley said also she saw Jesus sitting in an antique looking boat. That is our life, our wretched life, our miserable life, before we met Jesus, before Jesus stepped into our boat. And then he stepped into that antique looking boat. That's our lives. I'm glad. Not only did Jesus send his angels to fill our cups, because we started our worship with fill my cup, Lord. And then we went on to say that the boat was our lives and Jesus sat in our That means he is in full control. He's got the whole world in his hands. He is in control of our lives. I worship you, Lord. For you are mighty, oh, yes, you are the Holy One. Glory be to God. For you are mighty, Lord, yes, you are the Holy One. Thanks for joining. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. For you are mine. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you 
Alpha Omega Sunday. We had communion today. <laughs> today is last Sunday of the month. So we had communion today. Oh Lord. Yes, we can. Sure, why not? Why not? Why not have communion next Sunday? Sure, we'll have one next Sunday. To start the week. Uh, to start the new month. And then for those who, me who missed today's communion. Look, we had communion today. Hallelujah. So we have one next week. We have one next week. Why not? 
you know. <clears throat> After all, the Bible says, as often as you do this, so why not next week? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, you are.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. I love you all, I love you all. First love of the Lord, yes, the Lord. Never see.
Apilo Mussolini from South Africa, God bless you. Jesus, I rejoice with you, Georgina Flemings. I rejoice with you, the power of God. We move through your arms to strengthen it, to energize it, and to restore it to creation, to restore it to how it was created. In the name of Jesus, Vigo shall return to that left arm. Vigo shall return to that arm. Strength shall return to that arm. Flexibility shall return to that arm. Dexterity shall return to that arm. In the name above all other names, Jesus. 
Amen. It's three hours. It's three hours. And there are still 27 of you still hanging around. God bless you all. Um, I'm proud to call you all brothers and sisters. I'm proud to identify with all of you. And um, together, as one people, as one body, we will send our incense of praise to the throne of God. And blessings will pour down like a confetti upon us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you all. Thank you all. If anybody saw anything again, or if anybody is a witness to the vision of God, please share with us. I'm about to, we're about to end it for today. And we'll see you again on Sunday. And as we agreed, um, as proposed by Vincent Jansen, we have another communion worship next Sunday. So come prepared, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Count three hours backward right now to whatever time zone you are in. Count three hours backwards. That's when we started. Hallelujah. And, to, and next Sunday we'll have our communion worship. And we'll bask in the euphoria of his presence again. And his blood and his flesh will do what he does hallelujah his blood and his flesh will do you know what the lord does for his people and um you know and that'll be it hallelujah hallelujah Whew. It's, it's been a wonderful day it's been a wonderful day. Let me make sure I rinse the blood. You know, I want to get every, every, every drag, every ounce, every crumb, whatever it is that's remaining of this blood. I want to rinse it. The, as I rinse, as I rinse the blood, hallelujah. As I rinse it and as I drink it, so the Lord will rinse my life. So the Lord will cleanse my life. So the Lord will purify and sanctify and consecrate my life. So the Lord will make my life whole and yours as well in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can't get enough of God, you know. That's that's one thing. You can never get enough of this God. So we've come to the end of today's worship again. And I want to thank you all for, for your companionship. And on Sunday we'll see you. And um I believe and trust that it will be another powerful time in the presence of God. It will be an awesome time in His presence. And come prepared, come, bring your communion. The Lord will transform your communion into a healing. <laughs> be a healing cocktail it will be a healing cocktail and if you took if you partook of today's communion it's a healing cocktail for you and for you as a point of contact for your family it's a healing cocktail it's a cleansing cocktail remember our sister Pauline Jaroge say he saw many people in the shower we went to the 
shower of God today and we leathered ourselves with the soap of the with the heat soap and we turned on the faucet from right from the throne of grace and water poured down and cleansed us cleansed us from all unrighteousness cleansed us from all ungodliness cleansed us of all our diseases hallelujah what a powerful day it was last week our sister Shirley saw angels of God saw Jesus feel Jesus he saw Jesus feel many white cups and additionally he saw Jesus sit in the midst of an antique looking boat Jesus has become the master of our lives the boat he sits and reigns supreme in our affairs so rejoice that Jesus knows you to visit you rejoice that Jesus remembered you to visit you and rejoice that he has filled your cups rejoice that he has washed you with showers of blessings what a wonderful time we've had in his presence today and last week and week before last and going back to 32 weeks ago 32 weeks ago the lord has been faithful nothing he has said that he did not accomplish glory be to god i'm grateful to him for today and that's why i lift up my hands and worship to him and i say be praised oh god be glorified oh god be magnified in our lives be adored in our lives jesus continue to reign in our lives continue to sit in the boats of our lives continue to sit sit tight linger oh blessed redeemer leave me alone no more in the name of jesus and i pray that oh blessed redeemer will linger in the boat of your life he will leave you alone no more no tempest can swallow the ship where lies the master of ocean and seas jesus is the master of ocean and seas and his disciples said what manner of man is this that even the winds and the seas obey him he sits tight in your life no tempest can swallow you no tempest can swallow the boat of your life because your life is the ship where lies the master of ocean and seas hallelujah glory be to jesus hallelujah once once this background music ends we will call it a day i think it has about three more minutes to play and then we'll call it a day and i'll see you with your communion on sunday and we'll come lifting holy hands cleansed hands cleansed hands he, he has cleansed us today and we'll lift those hands next week not only did he cleanse us not only did he cleanse us he showered us with blessings and healings so for every one of you that's sick today your healing was made perfect today for every one of you who tuned in sick the lord has healed you for every one of you who tuned in having a sick family member in mind that sick family member is healed in the name of jesus for any one of you who has who had any infirmity when you tuned in 
that infirmity will not linger anymore. In the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Ghost that filled us today, the power of the Holy Ghost that saturated the room where we sit, the mighty rushing wind, the tongues of fire that descended upon us, most of you were filled today, most of you were refilled today, you spoke non-stop in tongues, you cried non-stop, you were slain in the spirit, the power of the Holy Ghost was heavy and he cleansed us, he showered us with his blessings. That power of God is able to heal. So you are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in your arm. You are healed in your brain. You are healed in your mind. You are healed in your blood. You are healed in your bones. You are healed in your marrows. You're healed in your veins. You're healed in your arteries. You're healed in your tendons. You're healed in your ligaments. You're healed in your spine. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. Hallelujah. Amen to all the prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Muta, I think, were you the person that had a dream? several weeks ago and all of a sudden you you went offline for some reason i don't know if you had a technical uh ma- malfunction were you was it you sister Mota? you said you had a dream that you wanted to share with somebody what was it sister you amota zoe zoro i had a dream like many weeks ago and we were online waiting for you to share the dream and I think you were offline or something like that. Hallelujah. Oh, it was you. Okay. I knew, I remember, I remember, I remember was, I remember your name, and um, I remember, I remember it was you. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, we didn't know if the dream was for, for, the, for the whole house, or it was for a particular person, or it was for somebody that is, that does not belong to this, this family. We weren't sure who the dream was for, but if it's for this house, um, it's something we would love to hear about. Hallelujah. But if it's not, you know, that's fine. Uh, No issues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Perrette Harrison, God bless you. I didn't know you were here. Sister Muta, they say she had a dream that they are waiting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. It was a vision dream of a personal deliverance that I wanted to share. Okay. Okay. You can share. We can share so we can glorify God with you. Hallelujah. 
I know. I remember saying that day that we we are so that we we are anxious to know whether we needed to scream, you know, in praise to God for a mighty deliverance, or if we need to speak in tongues and bind and cast. And I'm glad it is a dream of a mighty deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Paretta Harrison, she says. It was a dream, a vision of a personal deliverance. That is great news. Good tidings of great joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. If if that's much you want to share, that's enough for us. And um, I look recharged, happy and well. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm recharged and I'm happy and I'm well. Hallelujah. That's what God does. Yes, sir. You are right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, Chow time next. Yes. Is a is a dinner chow. <laughs> it will be dinner chow. Uh, I don't know what's on the menu yet. Probably I will go for an MRE if it's available. But <laughs> no, I'm not going for an MRE. Not not at all. Not at all. It's gonna be it's gonna be a hot chow. Hot chow, hot dinner chow. Refreshing. Hallelujah. Lord, we heal you from post COVID breathing challenge. Blessing and economy. May the Lord open your airways. And may you be liberated. May you be liberated from the pangs of COVID 19 symptoms and after effect. In the name of Jesus, may your breathing be restored. May your breathing be restored. May your breathing be restored. Place your hand upon your nose right now. I release the power of God through those nostrils. Down every nook and cranny of your life. Every remnant of COVID-19 be removed. In the name of Jesus, every post symptom of it be removed, be liberated fully, be delivered entirely. You shall have no symptoms of that anymore, and no breathing difficulties anymore. You are restored, your health is restored pre COVID. In the name of Jesus, Amen. You are healed, Sister Blessing, Bro Vincent. I guarantee you 100% it is an Igbo cuisine. It is an Igbo cuisine. It was cooking when I started. When I started, it was cooking. There was some pepper soup cooking on the fire. I know for sure. I'm heading back to an, to an Igbo cuisine right now. Hallelujah. Sister Amota, the power of God on this platform is real. <coughs> excuse me, breaking strongholds and delivering his people. And I just want to glorify his holy name. God bless you, Sister Amuta. God bless you. God bless you. The power of God is real. When we call upon him in one accord, this is our upper room. Jesus breaks every fetter and he sets us free. That's real. The power of God is real. I, I am a witness to the power of God. I've seen power of the raw power of God manifest. I've seen raw power of God manifest. And I have sometimes been casual with God and I prayed over things casually and walked away. And it miraculously happened to my chagrin. So the power of God is real when we believe. When we exercise the faith in Him, 
he can do all things. That's why the Bible says, actually Jesus says, all things are possible to him that believes. Hallelujah. Yes, I look savage for diverse reasons. Yeah, for spiritual reasons and for carnal reasons. You know, that's the whole man. That's the whole man. The spiritual man and the carnal mind. The spiritual man feeds on the blood of Jesus and the flesh of Jesus. And the carnal man feeds on the evil cuisine. You know, that makes you whole. When you're happy spiritually and you're happy physically, you become a whole person. Hallelujah. <laughs> you're so funny, bro Vincent. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Ooh. Okay. Yes, praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. You know, I I don't feel like, you know, leaving. I don't feel like leaving you all. I feel like seven days is a long time to have this fellowship again. You know, I, I always feel like seven days is a long time to have this communion. Koinonia. You, you know, koinonia, the, the, the Greek will call it. You know, I, I feel seven days is a long time. You know, I want to see all 27, 28 of you present, you know, next week. <laughs> it's a midweek. It's, it's, it's difficult to do midweek because it's, it's, it's practically impossible. You know, I work Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. So, by the time I come back home at 7.30 on a Wednesday, the day is almost over. I just want to eat my Igbo cuisine and shower and go to bed and get ready for the next 5 a.m. <clears throat> Hallelujah. <laughs> I love you all, you know. You, you all are, we, are, we are one family now. We speak candidly. To one another. I would love to do this every day because I don't get tired worshiping. You know, when I'm driving to work, I'm playing this. You know, when I when I'm driving from work, I'm playing this. You know, and I play them if it's a 15 minute drive, I play the 15 minutes. I, if I'm going for lunch, I put I play another 10, 15, 30 minutes. When I'm coming back from work, I play. So I play it until I, ex like this is three hours, 28 minutes. I play everything on, until I exhaust that hour of worship for that week. And, uh, you know, sometimes I, I watch the comments as I play them and I bless you and I pray for you, you know. Because most of the time when I'm, when I'm busy worshiping and lost in the spirit, I don't always know what's going on. So playing it on my way to work is when I actually partake from the whole, that is when I actually get blessed from that ministration because I need, I need it as well. So I play it and I get, I, I speak in tongues sometimes and I, you know, I, I worship with the ministration and I get blessed myself. That's my routine. So now in the morning at 5 a.m., <clears throat> when I'm driving, I'm playing, I'm playing this, you know, to get my own share of the blessing. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Enjoy steak and yams. Napoleon said, no, I'm in my chest. And I said, that's true, no, I'm in my chest. And I, said, I actually ate some yam today. You know, I actually ate some yam today for lunch. You know, I, I, I love my food. You know, I can't live without it. Sometimes... Depending on where I am on assignment, I stay 12 months without the food, you know. I miss it so much. So when I am around where I can get the food, I don't joke with it. I just, I just eat it. Hallelujah. Minister Immaculate and then God bless you. You're late today. I can see. I can see. I can see. You will listen later. Yes, it's, it's a blessed session. We had, we had infilling in the Holy Ghost today. You know, it was a wonderful service and we had our communion. So, like you said, listen to it. Because me too, 
that's the first thing I will start listening to when I'm driving out to work in the morning. As my routine is, I will listen to this and get blessed myself. You have food you know not of, right? Like Jesus said. Yeah, that's true. Jesus has the food that we know not of. You know, he told the woman, uh, the, uh, the Samaritan woman at the well, you know, I have some kind of water that you don't even have any clue what it can do for you. And that water is the living water. His blood, you know, can be substituted for that water. <clears throat> or you were at a meeting and you just finished. Oh, God bless you. God bless you, man. God bless you. Mana and yams combo. That's true. Mana and yams combo. God bless you, Minister Immaculate. It's like, like, as usual, it was a wonderful time in the presence of God, and He fed us sumptuously. Like somebody quipped, you know, Song of Solomon 2, verse 4, He brought us into His ban banqueting hall for His banner over us, His love. Because you are here, because you met us before we, before we go off, every blessing that was delivered belongs to you as well. Hallelujah. So you shall receive like everybody. You know, Jesus told this parable about some laborers we are called in the morning, some we are called in the afternoon, some we are called very late in the day. And when it was time for the man to pay, he paid everybody equally. And the people that started in the morning said, we've been working since morning. Why do you pay us the same thing with the people that just got here? <laughs> you know, you know, so and, and, and the kingdom of God reward system is different it's based on our heart with what heart did we come to worship him that's how god blesses us it doesn't matter if it was for five minutes or three hours if we came with a heart of worship you know he blesses us hallelujah amen okay so next week we are having another communion service. That's what the house agreed. That we have another communion service to start the month. So that's what that's what we'll do next Sunday. I'll I'll bring my I'll bring my communion and uh, we'll be ready to go. So we'll see you then. Hallelujah. Bye bye. I'll see you all on Sunday. And remember, I love you all. I love you all. As an aside, as a non African, I notice that chiefs and leaders look well fed and applied stature. That's true. They are well fed. They eat the choicest of meat. The chiefs and the elders eat the choicest of meat. There are certain, you know, animal parts that are reserved for them so they they are well fed they are well fed they are well fed that reminds me of my father you know those days he he he, he ate the choicest of the meat you know he was well fed hallelujah hallelujah amen have a blessed week too and I will see you all on Sunday. Pauline in Jorogi, thank, thank you for being an instrument today to, to tell us what the Lord had for us. And uh, enjoy your week too, Minister Macleod. That's the type of meeting I love to enjoy, where God speaks, where God reveals. That's where I want to be every week. And it has been like that now. It has been like that. Now, we've had all of you as instruments in the hand of God. We had you today, Pauline and Jaroge. We had uh, Sister Shelley, you know, consistently. We had a uh, woman arise and be healed. You know, God is using all of you uh, to, to speak to us. And I love a meeting like this. So, be open next week. Open your heart. Sister Thelma, God bless you as well. And uh, let the Lord speak through you. El El Cervo, El Cervo, El Cervo, 
Uh, Brahma Porti, thank you. God bless you. I love you all. Stay prayed up. Stay filled. The infilling that you receive today, let it boil and make you that hot stove that you need to be. Make you that transformer that is connected to the grid and current is running on your tension cables. Every enemy that touches you gets elect electrocuted. That's how you want to stay. So I encourage you to stay filled. The power that you receive today, the infilling that you receive today, the refilling that you receive today, let it continue to boil in you in the name of Jesus. So love you all. I will see you next week. God bless you. Ciao. I salute you all. <laughs> yeah. Kagame. Poor Kagame. Yeah. He's like me. Poor Kagame is like, you know, it's like me, you know. I weigh one, 165, um, five, nine. Um, he's much taller than I, though, but that's how I want to stay, you know. I don't want to be, you know, hefty. Unless I want to be a boxer, you know. Hallelujah. Okay. Bye bye. I see all of you. I'll see. Please don't miss next week. Please, please tune in on time so that Super Waterway Champion. Hallelujah. Tune in on time so we can have those spiritual, so those deep spiritual worship moments together. You know, that's what makes the. the that each time I'm listening to this driving to work or driving home from work, I look forward to that deep spiritual worship moment, you know, where we were not here. We were just lost in the spirit. I look forward to listening to those moments. So don't miss next week, please. And uh, we'll see you. I love you. Bye-bye.